Hello wonderful human, today we're talking about the new weekend rank system and more specifically we're talking about how many guards token you earn from it. So basically they've made two main changes. First one being the change in card pack rewards. Basically they've changed it so now you only get the good pack rewards if you are in mythic. And they've done this because before a lot of people were deranking because that would give them better rewards. So in the new system you can see you actually only need 15 wins to get one legendary pack. But if you go down into diamond you need 20 wins to get one legendary pack. The second big change they've made is the change in which we earn God's token. And they made this change because a lot of people were actually abusing the system with bots and they were just harvesting God's token. And that obviously decreases the value of God's token, which just sucks for everyone involved in the game, except the cheaters who were abusing the system. So in the new system, instead of having to play 60 games during the week, now you actually earn points from competing in the weekend ranked and the maximum amount of points you can get is 2428. However, it doesn't tell us how many guards token we get for that. But I just received my guards token for the first week and I'll reveal them and I'll do some calculations approximating how many guards token you get per point. So you can calculate your own. First though, I want to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this new system it definitely give incentive to play in mythic to get to mythic because the rewards are just so much better and no one wants to derank anymore because you're not rewarded for it anymore and that is just so good because it creates better gameplay which is important if you want people to keep playing your game obviously second it definitely incentivizes investing more time in the game to become better since playing in mythic gives you these much better rewards which gives you a better chance of pulling an expensive nft and obviously you can get NFTs from the legendary packs that are very expensive. We're talking thousands of dollars expensive. Then another huge pro is obviously combating the bots that took advantage of the old system. So they can't farm gods token anymore and gods unchained NFTs. And this will obviously just increase the value of the entire game, the NFTs, the gods token. And it will also make it a lot more attractive to investors. Obviously there's no more deranking and it means a better gaming experience for everyone, which is just so important. And it's very nice that you don't actually have to play the 60 game each week. You can just play in the weekend ranked and you will be rewarded with God's token for that. Then I have one con which is also kind of a question because we just don't know how it will affect the game yet but it is whether these worse rewards for new players will actually lead to less new players because it won't be as attractive to them because maybe it won't seem as achievable to earn God's token or to earn NFTs and will less of the new players be staying because they are not finding the type of success that people were finding during the Blessings of the Gods event. I can tell from experience coming into the game during the Blessings of the Gods that it was so cool that you could just so easily earn these Gods token to create a nice deck and you could actually achieve these NFTs rather easily. And I don't know whether as many of the new players will actually be incentivized or motivated to staying. But only time will tell. I think the game is so good that people will keep playing. And I honestly don't think this will have a huge negative impact. But only time will tell. Now we get to the God's token part. How many God's token do these points give you? This week I only got 12 wins in Mythic, which I am not happy with at all. I did want the 15 wins because that would give me the legendary pack. However, the reality is just the 12 wins with the 2064 points. And those points gave me 6.48 gods. So if you divide that with the points, you get how much one point will give you in gods token. So it's this number. And if you time that with 100, you get the amount of gods token you will get per 100 points. And you can also calculate the maximum amount of gods token you can get will be 7.62 Obviously, this is only approximates because it does change a little every week because the pool of guards token that are given out actually relies on the active players. So some weeks the maximum amount of guards can be higher and sometimes it can be lower. But this gives you a nice approximate to calculate what kind of guards you will be getting for your points. Do you think the new weekend rank system will affect new players coming into the game? then leave a comment and like the video so it can reach more people. I hope you like the video. 
If you did, you can consider subscribing to me and I hope to see you in another video. For now, bye.